Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for old Peggy Pegwarmer herself, Transformers Earthrise or Kingdom RC. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, both on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at RC, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, RC is just way too plain. I mean, this is an iconic figure, and I feel that Hasbro just really dropped the ball on her. They did so much better with Lifeline here and Alita One. I mean, these two, they've got a painted face. They've got the lipstick going on. RC, man, they just fumbled the ball with her. Taking a closer look at the figure, like I said, just way too plain. She actually looks like an Area 51 alien more than a Fembot. Now, I love the eyes. The eyes look really good. Nice Autobot logo right there on the chest. But there's there's just not much. It's just pink and white and gappy. So, I mean, there, there she is. There you've got Kingdom RC in robot mode before and after. And what a difference Toy Hacks makes for RC's robot mode. This reminds me of those 80s high school movies where the not-so-hot girl gets the makeover at the end, and bam, Toy Hex did an awesome job with RC. Now, the first thing you're probably noticing is the new lipstick decal right there on her face that really helps the figure out. She also has new pink decals up here on the helmet and one right there for the crest. There is white stripes there on the backpack along with these little blue decals. A new Autobot logo there on her chest, a blue decal right there on her stomach, a new decal right there on the, well, the underwear, on the wrist, blue and yellow decals there, side of the legs, we got new pink decals, almost missed right here, there are pink decals that now cover the pins on her arms, also around here, we got blue decals for the elbow, and a blue decal that wraps around the forearm. Moving on down, we got new decals right there for the shins and decals for the toes. So I this is impressive. I can't believe what Toy Hex did for RC here. Now come on, stand up. So there you go, guys. RC in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, RC is just as plain looking as she was in robot mode. Primarily pink and white, though we do have a little gray right there for some seats, some frosted glass for the windshield there, and frosted glass for that thing, spoiler, or whatever it is. Frosted glass looking wheels, and red Autobot logo right there on the hood. And that's it. There's just really not much to go over with this vehicle mode, the same as robot mode. So there you go, guys. One final look at RC in vehicle mode before and after. And Toy Hacks has really improved the looks of RC's vehicle mode. The first decal you're probably noticing is the new decal for the windshield. She also gets gold floor mats. New decals right there behind the seats. New decals here on the hood that look like vents. A brand new Autobot logo right there with some pink accents on either side. 
new headlight decals with a yellow and blue decal there on the front. On the side of the vehicle, you get new blue light decals. I guess that's what those are right there over each wheel and white pinstriping along the sides. There's also a new blue decal right there below the spoiler. And the rear of the vehicle has taillights now. New white decals right there and a vanity license plate. Now the one I picked says G1RC. You do have options. Let me grab them here. You've got Rip for Alderaan. Kind of a reference to RC looking like Princess Leia. Cell 2187, which I believe is Dreamwave. Rebirth from the Generation 1 cartoon series. And Susan Blue, RC's voice actor. So I really like the looks of this now. A vast improvement of what she was. So there you go, guys. RC in vehicle mode after. The Toy Hacks decal set for Transformers Earthrise or Kingdom RC really knocked it out of the park. They did such a great improvement on this very bland figure. Now, I know some of you may just consider this as putting lipstick on a pig because these are just cosmetic changes and really can't do anything for the figure, but as far as the looks go, I think she looks awesome now, and I'm going to move her from the bottom shelf where she's been hiding to maybe about eye level now. Not to mention how much better she looks replacing this glass-looking pistol with a Toy Hex Armory gun. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!